First and foremost, I think track record is the most important metric that you can look at when you're looking at a an operator. Um, so I like to see full cycle deals. Um, I like to see some deals where things have uh, been challenging and they've been able to overcome those challenges. Uh, but primarily, I want to see folks that have been in the space for a while and have gone full cycle on deals time and time and time again. I don't. I see a lot of operators that get very creative and they like to try a bunch of different strategies and techniques and get into um, you know value add and development and mixed use and things like this. I am. I am much more in favor of folks who do one thing and do one thing very, very well and do it repeatedly over and over and over again. So that, that's what I like to see. Um, I do think it's important, though, for folks that have maybe that have possibly not been around for, you know, a couple of different cycles or even an entire full cycle. I think it's important to take a look at what these folks have done prior to coming into the space, because I'm a firm believer that top performers will generally be top performers again and again and again. Um, I don't find that people perform at a very, very high level and then move into something else and then fall on their face that often. So if somebody has been in the space for just a handful of years, I want to see that they have actually been successful in other areas of their life coming into this role, because I think most of those skills or a lot of those skills are transferable into this space, much like any other business. So um so I like to do that. I think today more than ever, lending is uh, and, and the loan terms that you get on deals is the most important factor. So making sure that we're, we've got rate caps in place, we've got three and four year terms at a minimum. I like fixed rate long-term debt at this point. Um, so I, I think those things are really important to look at. And then I also like to see operators that are fully integrated, that are investing in systems and their business. I. I was in financial services working for a large Fortune 100 during our last financial crisis. And I got to see business owners going into that period. And I got to see who came out of that period. And inevitably, it was the people that were well capitalized, that um, were not leveraged to the tilt, and that had built systems and infrastructure in their business to withstand the difficult times. So I like to see fully integrated, well-established businesses that I think will make it through, uh, you know, the ultimate downturn that I think we're we're in the middle of already, and we'll see more of in the coming years or so.